Hold on. Ubercopter's on its way. <laughs> Off the box. Do you mean it's probably going to fall off our really expensive, you know, like super industrial, amazing tripod? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely not a cardboard box because it's the best thing we can do right now. Okay, sorry, go on. How should we start this one? If there's an earthquake, my camera's going to be fucked. Yeah, let's not hope there's any earthquakes. I'm going to need to speak real loud so people can hear me out here. Apologies, there's a waterfall in the pool that we can't turn off. <laughs> one of the four waterfalls in this pool. <laughs> Fuck's sake, there's gonna be nature, there's already been helicopters, what else is gonna distract, hmm? We've got potential earthquakes on the way. I think you need to talk louder. Louder? Like, yeah, like maybe shouting a little bit. Do the sandwich thing. Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> wow, that was mean. Um, hi oh, guys, oh. oh, okay, did you spurt? No, oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck's sake, this is a terrible idea to do this outside. Can't even start the fucking video. All right guys, what's good? Happy, hello campers, let's go with that. Hello campers. Today we're in sunny LA and uh, I've not really been posting a lot on YouTube. And when I do, I do really bad quality videos with sound in the background. And our friend Steven. Uh, who's obviously very loud too. Today, we're gonna bring you back to reality. We're gonna perpetuate the stereotype that is people who dress badly in America. And today, we're gonna pick on people at New York Fashion Week. We're gonna go through Philip O's street style photography so far in, uh, in Fashion Week. So yeah. Uh, the birds are gonna put their two cents in and um yeah we're gonna um we're just gonna fucking we're gonna get straight to it have i got anything that i want to rant about today no okay yeah do you want to oh. talk about some of the new things you've experienced while being here okay yeah so quickly let me uh let me run through my la experience before we get into roasting people actually what of what are my firsts being here so far you went on a boat i went on a boat like a an actual boat. A boat boat. A real a real man's boat. I had what have I had for the first time? White claws. I had white claws for the first time. Tastes like shit. You liked it. No, it was okay. It just like I don't understand why they're so popular right now. Mm. We've had lots of different foods for the first time. Yep, multiple foods for the first time. Some of your favorites, like how, what is? I went what to my first. Enjoyed? I went to my first big Hollywood oh, party yeah. in the hills. That was good fun. I've met some of my favorite artists and celebrities this trip. Talk to the camera, not me. Yeah, I met um, one of my favorite artists at the moment called Buddy. He was really nice. I met some very good friends from London and from America here. I've been chilling with people. I've had meetings, exciting meetings. Big things coming. Big meetings. things coming. No things coming because I'm really lazy and I do things when they benefit me massively and not the person I'm working with. Yeah, just cool, cool shit. LA shit. I went to Active Culture for the first time. Yeah, if fucking real ones know, real ones will know about Active Culture. Active Culture and the ice cream and their fucking, what's that berry flavored one? The pomegranate and raspberry. Flames. Salted caramel. Yeah, that shit's wild. Um, yeah, it's been fucking fun and we've been here for a while and we're still here for like another week-ish, just, just less than, so yeah. It's been good, smoke weed. That's good fun. Smoke weed every day, 420. Blaze it. Just done like family activities. We went to Catalina. Went to Catalina Island. That was on the boat. I got it. <laughs> you went to your first beach club? I went, fuck off. <laughs> first beach club? Do you not know who I am? 
I'm the height of socialitism. Not socialism, socialitism. Mm. I always go to beach clubs. Consume your beverage. Amazing. Great work. Ooh. Um, yeah, good fun. Beaches, my first swim in Laguna Beach, in the OC. Good fun, okay. all good fun. Let's move on now. Yeah, let's roast these weirdos. I've never really had a good mesh with New York Fashion Week and it's because through no fault of its own I guess just where the pool of talent that I see designers and fashion being at the moment is just there's barely on barely any of it in America right now and especially New York Fashion Week being so young there's exciting things there but I'm I don't know like I put some belief and I invest some things into into new and exciting brands, but I'm very careful with what I invest my time and interest in. And it just seems there's nothing too exciting coming out of New York Fashion Week. There's only a couple of the old masters still there. And yeah, it's just not, um, it's much like England and London Fashion Week right now, where it's at a place where there's some fun new gen artists, a couple of old heads, but in comparison to Milan, it's nothing. And then to compare to Milan to Paris, again, makes Milan look shit. So when you boil that down to another level, it's uh, it's not the most exciting place I've been. And also they try way too hard. I mean, the first photo on this like uh, Fashion Week Spring 2020 thing is, I'll show you, it's a, a woman in green body glitter, head to toe. Uh, yeah, I mean, she looks like, uh, you know when on James Bond, the Goldfinger killed that girl and covered her in gold? Uh, there's ants on the camera. No and uh, yeah, they're just trying to get involved in the shot. They're trying to rise to YouTube fame. So yeah, she looks like something out of a bad Bond movie. And just, yeah, there's not really exciting brands going on in New York, but that's not gonna stop us from abusing people who are interested in fashion and, you know, trying to express themselves we're gonna knock them down a peg for no reason because that's the kind of horrible person that I am. Uh, we're gonna start with... We're gonna start with something real bad. Okay, if there's anyone that I know, I will point them out. This guy, I'm super happy that I don't know him. I mean, there's a lot going on right now. I mean, this is, I'm gonna have to show you this. Yeah, yeah, this guy is... Uh, has a... An amalgamation of things going on. He has a uh, what looks like a child's Jansport backpack with some um, very, very bright business going on. I really like the horrible moustache though. That's the only thing that I like. And maybe the glasses, mildly. But uh, as I thought, and to start off with, this is a great example of someone in Fashion Week, who, you know, just goes to these places to... I mean, this guy is actually so crazy looking that I, I'm inclined to say that he wears this every day. It clearly looks like he's showing out for Fashion Week, and that's not what we're here for. We're here for the real fashion people. Not with people with earrings with seven different colored tassels hanging off them. Um, and I'm immediately going to give this guy a 1 out of 10. That's uh, a bad start. It's a real bad start, fam. Can you talk about how there's a complete difference between putting on the most outrageous outfit and putting consideration into your outfit? I yeah, know you absolutely. hammer that in a lot, but I feel like... What a, why are there birds attacking each other? Also, Just, should we go to mommy? What? Later? Get it ordered? No, go. You want to go? We can't order it. Sure. Wait, how come you can have a mommy burger, but you can't have what I want to have for dinner, huh? Because mm -hmm. I can get chicken. What do you want for dinner? I want starfish. I want starfish to sponsor these videos. To Fiona's point, a lot of different people have different tastes. And I think I always hammer this point home and I think it's very important to reiterate it and especially when I'm critiquing people's outfits, which is that, what the fuck is that? Oh, squirrel. Why are all the woodland creatures coming out when this video is on? Okay, back to the main point. There is a massive difference between being eccentrically dressed and using color and using uh, shiny materials, uh, out there materials, and doing it well. So for example, 
someone who is tastefully loud, which a lot of people won't keep in their heads because he is so tasteful, is Haider Ackerman. Uh, he uses a lot of loud, shiny materials. He uses a lot of patterns. He uses a lot of different things, but the way that all of his runway looks compiled together, the way that you can work his different pieces into a planar outfit and you can dress them up or down, you can go formal, you can go casual, everything with his. His ability to spot loud things and just make them work, which again is a terrible way to put it down to, but a lot of these things boil down to does it work or does it not? And that's an example of something that works, which is loud and eccentric. Now, this guy who has gone to what looks like the nearest 70s joke shop to pile on, and what feels like to me just to pile on color to prove a point about something, I'm not sure, it, it, it doesn't work together. It's showing out because it's fashion week, and don't get me wrong, if there's any excuse to wear your pieces that stand out more and your pieces that are a bit more special to you and probably a bit louder out of the things within your wardrobe go for it fuck me like it doesn't doesn't matter you should you should go for it but there are these outfits that just scream hey i'm going to fashion week i know every color in the rainbow let's put it on right now in 1800 different textures and 300 different fits and it just looks like you've done that and that's not what it's about you can be a loud dresser you can be someone who always wears color you can be someone who is eccentric in how they dress but still look good and still have things suit you and fit you very well it looks like there's been a mild consideration for fit for this guy uh, but not a lot and he is just like thrown up colorful clothing on himself to peacock and it's peacocking in a way like don't wrong like I like peacocking sometimes but you can do peacocking and make it tasteful and you can make sure it's done right and everything looks cool I'm just not a fan of being cool for so being I'm not a fan of being loud for attention I like it when it suits people's personalities and obviously I don't know this guy so it might suit his personality but um, from face value that shit is fucking horrendous as this young lady just said so yeah you're gonna get a one sorry bro i have got like something on my foot i've got dry ass heels too it's all this swimming i'm hungry too okay next one we're gonna go with we're gonna go with this fucking awesome old lady here now i like to have my trousers high this woman's belt loops look like they're trying to have a long conversation with her nipples and I'm not sure if that's the biggest look ever. And I like really purposely high trousers. And you can get, she's obviously very short and for a, to a degree you can get away with it. Now on me, for example, I'm quite short. So I can have my trousers a little bit higher, but not as high as this woman's going. They're actually quite awesome trousers. And um, I think it's important to take into account someone's age. Now I use that in the opposite way of, a lot of people say, if you are, an older age, you can't wear this and this. And I think that's bullshit. And I think it's even cooler when older people wear more eccentric pieces. And even here, she's actually gone black and white. It's just the way she's styling it is quite eccentric. But I think she looks awesome. Like, um, the shirt looks really, really cool. Um, she's Although I don't think it works on her, she's obviously considered the, the style of trouser and the fit of it. Um, I think the fit's really, really cool. Have you seen how fucking short they are? Aren't they hilarious? Oh, for fuck's sake. We're having mid-meme fucking videos now. Well, I'm to filming this efficiently as possible, huh? Sorry. I love her black boots, that kind of like Marnie-style tote bag with the little drawings on it. Um, yeah, she's gonna get a fucking six out of 10, and she'd be seven or eight if those trousers were just a little bit lower. Because for me, it's throwing off like the whole, uh, the whole look. But other than that, she's fucking killing the game. Killing the fucking game, bruv. Uh, next up, we'll do uh, these two guys. I'm gonna ignore the woman in the background, because you know, fuck it. I think they're famous. All their models. I don't know who they are. The guy on the left looks really familiar. This is my knowledge of fucking celebrities. Yeah, fuck knows. Um, I think he's a model or an artist or something. Um, and to be honest, I really, really like their outfits. They have this kind of like, kind of 70s vibe going on and they kind of, uh, the guy at the back especially has the 
He's kind of got like a bowed look going on, which is one of the newest brands that I'm really interested in with that kind of like uh, thick, bold, striped jacket. I've just clicked off the photo because I'm a genius. Yeah, absolutely love their looks. Uh, the use of brown on that guy works really, really well. Um, I love how cropped the jacket is. It's really, really cool. His sunglasses suit him a lot. That woman in the background is a model, I think. She'll get a mention, she looks cool. I love the loafers they're both wearing. It's, you know, really good when you don't keep clicking off a photo when you're trying to describe something. And I've lost it. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, I love that guy's double-breasted suit. Recently, Gucci released a suit that has jogging, tailor jogging pants with them. I don't like the trousers, but they came out with a double-breasted blazer. It's very similar to this guy's. It's a bit more exaggerated. I don't think this one's Gucci but um, it looks really, really fucking cool. And I kind of am into that like uh, dad double-breasted blazer at the moment, which uh, even, oh no, she's wearing single-breasted, but it's kind of like a dad blazer. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I like their like slightly tinted glasses as well. I think it works really, really well. These guys look awesome. And his like black and white penny loafers work really well. I think the guy at the back's definitely, definitely for me gonna get an eight. And the guy at the front's gonna get like a seven and a half. These, were, these guys are really, really strong. Um, yeah, these guys look fucking awesome. Killed the game. Um, rating. Huh? Rating? I just did the ratings, but you weren't listening, you fucking bitch. Sorry. How are you going to be here as an EP if you're not even going to listen to what the fucking star is saying? I'm the star of the show. <laughs> okay. Shut up. Uh, oh. Okay, special mention for the guy wearing an all red mask. Very weird. Not not entirely sure on what's going on with him there. But uh, kind of another fashion week. Although these kids are now so extreme that I kind of have a feeling he wears this to like his fucking day job at an office like every day. And his friend with like the really skinny like, what is it? The fucking really thin chemise? Is it a chemise? What's it called? A sham... Oh. It's called a white shirt. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, but anyway, whatever these guys are doing, poor. Okay, next. Oh my fucking God. This is a very New York outfit. To quote what people say nowadays, I'm not here for it. Uh, this man's wearing a terrible wig because it doesn't look like it's his hair and it just looks terrible. Uh, a oversized blue hoodie, which isn't too bad, but then he's also wearing some uh, spray paint Playboy overalls with his lime green triple S. Um, this doesn't... I... <sighs> Matching your outfit to your wig that doesn't look good is a very poor style. Um, yeah, this is a very classic street style New York outfit that's, this is the equivalent of guess our, our fuck boy and he looks fucking bad, bro. I've never understood like dungarees as a fashion choice. Uh, it's not come round to me yet. I haven't found out a way to ever make them or I've never seen them on me or someone else look good. Maybe me when I was like four and adorable and I was wearing them but they're genuinely should be saved for kids. Uh, the Triple S, I still appreciate the older pair and I think you can make Triple S uh, look really good. I'm always gonna keep, I have a pair, the gray ones, I'm always gonna keep them. I think they're definitely a grail piece and I think they're something to collect for sure. Especially if you're like me and you got the first ones. <laughs> but yeah, I did just, some of the colors look terrible and some of the outfits really look bad. I don't know, I like the top on its own if he was cropped out of it and the rest and it was on someone else on a different outfit in a different place then I'd like it and he, he's gonna get a 0.75 it's just not oh I don't know yeah it's just not nice at all too much flash too much flash for me in this bitch all right next we're gonna go for okay let's go for this woman okay cool nice all right, next we're gonna go for this lady. Um, I really, really like what she's wearing. It's a bit too exaggerated for me. Uh, I'm not sure on what brand the top is, but she's got this oversized uh, yellow, yellow long sleeve shirt dress thing. Um, I love 
white socks and loafers at the moment for some reason. It's just, I, yeah, I'm enjoying loafers and, and socks like that at the moment, especially with shorts and stuff like that. Very, 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 very appealing to me. I like her use of jewellery and uh, the juxtaposition of that. I think it's the Balenciaga Paris bag. It looks really cool. Um, and she's someone who actually, although I'm not a fan of it, I think she still thought it through. And she's obviously quite short, but she's nailed the kind of oversized proportions for herself. Um, so yeah, I think she looks really cool actually. We're gonna give this bish a... Seven out of 10. Yeah, that's fair. And I think if she was wearing just maybe a slightly oversized yellow shirt as to being so extreme, I would definitely would have given her an eight or a nine. She looks really, really cool. Next one, we're gonna do, ah, okay, I know this woman. Next one, we're gonna judge a woman called Alaylee May. And I'm sure if you guys in streetwear follow this lady, and I know a lot of the guys will know this, this girl, she's got a very oversized masculine style. And I think that can work um, quite well on women sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't really work on guys. So it's got nothing to do with her gender. But I, uh, she is a girl who dresses like a guy fuck boy. And I think it doesn't have the effect that she wants it to for me. And I think that what I mean by that is, for, so for example, you can dress kids up in like horrible preppy outfits or a little Nike tracksuit and make them look like a mini chav or just something like that. And they look really adorable. And I think the juxtaposition of such a, um, the juxtaposition of such a strong look on something so adorable like a kid works really, really well. And I and I don't think that the juxtaposition of having the oversized men's look works as well as a contrast sometimes on women than I think it does. The reasons being for me is because they don't look any different to guys when the way with their fit. And I think there's a lot of different things that work on women that are better than men. And I think sometimes they can work good on men and vice versa. But for me, a lot of the time when women are wearing the, you know, going for the guy's look, they look super accurately like a guy and there's no female twist. I mean, here she's got the bralette on. I'm not, I'm not taking that into consideration because I'm not a fan of the overall fit. But, you know, she's wearing a bralette instead of what a guy would maybe be wearing, which is no top with that outfit or a t-shirt. Um, but it just doesn't add enough of a feminine twist to make it contrast in that way. And she just ends up looking like a guy with a style that I also don't particularly like. Um, so in this, she's wearing uh, like a padded oversized gilet, which just does not fit well. And I don't think it works well with this outfit. Um, she's gone for the socks and sandals with like leather pants. It's very like music video-esque and it just doesn't look good. Like, I kind of like her sunglasses. They they fit it really well, and everyone's gone for this kind of like tinted look, which I really, really like. But I don't know, like she's got the pearls on the bag, a lot of leather, the platform uh, sandals I don't, I don't particularly like, and it just doesn't really work together either particularly well. And it's a shame because I think sometimes she wears some really good pieces, but uh, in this, this combo, it's just not for me. It's not for me. Darling, go. What would you like her to do differently? Change that outfit, what would you like to be different? I, I have real troubles with dressing leather pants because I think they so rarely work. And I think when they do work, I think they work in a more classic outfit and it's, it's classic or extreme. So for example, classic, I mean like the biker look or like the, uh, grunge look or like the heady like slim man sort of style and when i say extreme i mean like maybe like for a very very certain person like the rick owens look which is almost what she's got going on here a lot of oversized stuff and like leather but yeah there's i just wouldn't wear everything that she's got on together like there's just no um there's no like consideration of these pieces together i feel like i think you could maybe do some bits with it like i i like the fit of the trousers and i think you could do uh maybe some combat boots with those and go for a really like um plain white tee sort of look plain white tee leather trousers combat boots go really like clean old dior style that'd be really really cool um but yeah there's just there's just too much going on here like way too much going on so she is gonna get a two and a half out of ten <coughs> um, okay, next we'll do um, 
this guy. Uh, this is a this is a look that I don't really know how to categorize it yet, and don't go for the whole like oh, he's an individual. You can't categorize people. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can absolutely put people in categories and things in categories because you know that's how you identify things. It doesn't mean that you should judge them or prejudge them or pretend that you know them. But we put things in categories for a reason. Okay. He has this, and the best way I can describe it, if anyone knows the the brand Telfar Global which is this really skinny leather look. And it's just like a lot of mix of like loud denim and patches and, and hybrid stuff. It's kind of similar to like the Martine Rose look in that way, but it's, it's I'd say it's like it's American counterpart. I actually really like that orange leather top on him, but the rest is just dog shizzer. I don't particularly like the purple silk do-rag with this outfit and he's got like the holster on going on. The Rocket Dog Billionaire's Boy sh Club shorts are reserved for Pharrell only and if you uh, if you wear those and you're not Pharrell, I don't know what you're doing. Unless you're my friend Yev, he can get away with those because he's so in love with Pharrell that I just feel that it's okay for him. And then whatever those fucking shoes are, bro, like those sock knit shoes, they look like they could be Raph or something like that, but... Yeah, it's like this Telfar global look that I, quite often I enjoy. And it's this very fitted double denim, mixed patches, kind of the Greg Lauren thing of like splicing different uh, items. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not working on this guy for me. It's not working on this guy for me. Uh, we'll give him a... Uh, we'll give him a three out of 10. Just because like, I understand what he's trying to do. Can okay. you talk about something about like, what you would do differently on these people? Like, yeah, they suck, but like, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know, Provide but. Provide some like, constructive Sometimes people feedback. just suck and you know, like, for example, you know, like me, I'm just like awesome and no one can really say why, do you know? Just kind of perfect in every way. And these people aren't, you know? I've skipped past so many fails because these people are making me feel physically sick. Can you do like, a really, really awful one? Like, literally one that's so terrible and then one that's really good like the contrast or... i've done some pretty awful ones okay. you haven't seen the photos trust me there's some fucking dog shitter that i have been super nice to <laughs> i won't meant you know which ones we've all got eyes <laughs> uh... sorry fucking if you don't want to be here bro just fucking leave i can't wait shall i do quavo house. no it's too easy the dress is real bad how should I sign this one off? That was, that was, yeah, uh, uh, that was New York Fashion Week in my eyes. Tell me what your thoughts are on everyone's terrible outfits. Uh, no, I'm kidding. There was actually surprisingly some good ones in there. I wasn't expecting any at all, like zero. So uh, I'm happy there were some good, good dresses in there. Soon I'm gonna be posting a video or I'm gonna post it before this one. Who knows about uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna try my first like solo get wreck style. We'll call it not get wrecked. I don't know what we'll call it. I will call it um, Enzo hates all of you, or Enzo wants you to stop trying, or Enzo despises all of your fashion choices. Just something super lighthearted and nice, you know? But yeah, we're gonna do LA inspired outfits. So that's either already out and you should go back and watch that or it's gonna come out next and you should be DMing me comments about my LA outfits and sending me your LA style outfits, okay? <coughs> Bye sucker bliats. I literally can't focus it. Perfect. I'm out of focus. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so cute as a photographer. Hey guys, this is, welcome to my vlog. This is the back garden. This is my pool. I spent four million pounds. There she goes. This is Jeffrey. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey's coming to pick me up. And we have a, a cage at the bottom and Jeffrey gets to pick up my Rolls Royce, my one of seven Rolls Royces. Okay. Did I mention my four and a half, five million pound pool? Uh, welcome to my crib.
Where is this going? Where is this clip going? I don't know. But I would appreciate it if you were actually to vlog like this because then this would be really fun. But then you actually have to be willing to hold the camera all the time and just bust it out during dinner. No. Do you want to show everyone our really expensive stand? Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>